Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're gonna to be making a resin flower coaster. So let's jump in and get started. I'm gonna be using Epoxy Paste from Laura's Art Corner by Lorez. I'm gonna be using this Sassy Red in Angel White. And I'm also gonna be using some silver crushed glass bits. I'm gonna be using these for the center of my flower. In my mold here, I have poured a little bit of clear resin. Not much at all, just enough to fill the mold so the bottom was completely covered. And I added some of those glass bits to um, a little cup here, added a little bit of clear, and I'm going to put some of those in the center of my flower or in the center of my mold. And these will be the center of my flower. I did mix up my resin off camera just to save time, but I will show you how much epoxy paste I added to my clear resin. So, what I do when I do this technique is I mix up the product inside the container and I take my little stir stick and scrape off the excess. And that is all I use. I don't use much at all. Um, these products are opaque, so a little bit goes a long way and you do not need much at all of this. So I did that for this Sassy Red. Just basically mixed up the product inside the container, scraped off my stir stick on the side of the jar, and only used that much. I'm pouring the red right on top of that clear layer that I had in the mold, just along the rim of the coaster. And I'm just making sure I pour out all of that red. I had about three quarters of an ounce, just a little bit under one ounce of the red and about a half an ounce of the white. Doesn't take much resin at all. And this was just an experiment. Um, so if you guys are seeing this video, it worked out. Um, I was just testing this out and now we're gonna go in with the white. And I like to use paper cups for this because you can pinch the side of the cup and get a really nice controlled pour. So what you wanna do is just go in and do, I like to think of a cinnamon roll when I do this. So just kinda do like a swirly design leading up to the center and try not to get a big drop of that white. You wanna make sure you take your left hand and catch it so you don't get a big blob of white dropping down. And that's it, I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes. And here's how it's looking five minutes later. You can see the resin is starting to kind of self-level and move a bit. That's what you're looking for. And now we're gonna go in and draw our petals. And you can see off to the left, I had a little bit of my resin left, so I just threw it into this mold. Um, and I'll end up filling that mold up with clear or a different color, just so none of it gets wasted. And when I draw my petals, I'm using a silicone paintbrush. You can get these off Amazon. I'll link them down below. And what I do is I think about the face of a clock. So I'll start in at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and then the other petals, I basically just split the difference in between those. Super simple and easy to do. And I'm actually gonna do a little bit different of a design than what I usually do. Usually I just leave it like this, but I am gonna go in and draw a few more lines going outward as well. And that'll give you some really pretty petals in your coaster. And I did mix up my resin off camera just to save time. But if you guys are new to resin and you wanna see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how to mix your resin, I will link my Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check, check it out. I show you step-by-step how to mix your resin. It's a great video if you're new to resin and uh, just starting out. And I'm also using the Total Boat High Performance Epoxy. Don't know if I mentioned that at all, but that's it. I am not gonna do anything else to this except add a little swirl in the center here. And to be honest, I swirled too much. I should have only done like one, but I was just getting a little bit carried away. I didn't add any heat to this at all. I just covered it up with an upside down storage container, let it dry for 24 hours, and here we are ready to demold it. I was so excited to see if this technique worked out well. I wanted to see the type of flower design I would get, and I think it actually turned out really, really nice for just being a little test. Um, I didn't pour this coaster very thick at all because like I said, it was a test, so I didn't wanna use a ton of resin. Um, but you can see I got some really, really awesome depth on the petals and I'm excited to try this some more. I am gonna try this out with a mica powder um, because the Sassy Red and the Angel White are both opaque 
products. I think it will work out a little bit better if I use the Angel White with a transparent product like a mica powder. But you can see how thick I poured it, not thick at all, um, because I just wanted to test this out. But I'm really excited to try this out some more. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those videos. I'm definitely going to be trying this again this weekend. I'm going to make, I think, a set of two just to see how they turn out with a mica powder and the Angel White. And I wanted to show you along the edge, you can see that white was starting to push out into the sassy red and it gave a lot of really awesome depth. So I think this one turned out really nice. I hope you guys give it a try. I, like I said, I am gonna be doing some more experiments with this technique. It's a really easy way to get a beautiful flower design. And as always, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. I hope you guys are all doing great. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye guys.